And so when you go through the TSA, I don't know if you know this, but they, they scan men and women differently. And so I go through, instantly set it off. And I look over at their monitor and there is the biggest, reddest box around my crotch. And listen, I'm not normally one to brag about my dick size, but I'm definitely larger than your average woman. So I, I, I recently learned at my job that I was getting paid half as much as my male coworker for the exact same job. Proving once and for all that trans women really are the women of women. <laughs> I'm out here making 82 cents on the cis woman's dollar. <laughs> Being a transgender lesbian is like a super weird thing to be. Cause it's like, I really spent thousands of dollars on hormone replacement therapy and put truly irreparable strain on my relationship with my family just to dress exactly like I did as a teenage boy. <laughs> When I was in Florida, I had to pass a lot for my safety. And that's when I realized that like passing tips are very different for trans women versus trans men, right? Because for trans women, it's all like, you're gonna have to speak not only at the correct pitch, but also with the correct resonance and tone. You're gonna have to shave your whole body at minimum once a week. And baby girl, you gotta learn how to contour. <laughs> and for trans men, it's all like, don't shower. <laughs> If that doesn't work, try chewing tobacco and speaking over women. <laughs> uh, and I know, I know that I don't really have like your typical woman's voice, but to be honest, I don't really know how to fix that. Uh, Cause if I pitch my voice up, <laughs> I just kind of sound like Mickey Mouse, who is notably still a boy. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs>